Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today I am on the way for another overnighter trip into the forest. I will spend there a night who will build a camp and uh, this trip I will tell you a, a little bit about what is in my brain when I am at a trip. So what I think about the forest in that I am, what I think about my camp, fly camp place, what um, is important when you want to spend time in the wood or when you spend a night in the wood. So all of this I will tell you in this video and you'll see a beautiful overnighter and a very nice nature with a lot of nice views. So if you want, stay tuned. This here left woodworkers here in the forest. All the small branches that they don't really need, um, they put them at a big uh, hill and make a fire. Then it burns all away. And look how big it is. And some people said to me, it is too dangerous to make a fire into the forest. So I'm wondering what those people think about this fireplace. Do you see how massive it is? And here in the background you can see two tree stumps. They are completely burned away. And maybe you hear uh, something about a roof fire. When you make a fire close to a roof, it can be that the fire burns under the ground into the roof away and then um, other trees in the area around can also burn. So I hope they watch the fire. I'm sure they watch the fire, but it is so big. Um, yeah, I'm wondering what you think about a fire in this size into the forest. Unbelievable. What kind of people do this? Leave so much trash in the forest. It is often that the woodworkers left trash into the forest. Um, they left something for their um, chainsaws or for the wood machines or bottles. Beer bottles. I found so often beer bottles from woodworkers into the forest. And sometimes it is so much trash like here. Not all woodworkers are such bad beep people, but some of them don't really look at their, their land. Um, and I found often trash into the forest sometimes the paper of um, sweets that um, left people they walk only in the forest to enjoy it but sometimes they came with their cars and left uh, old stuff from their cars or from their home and this is always terrible to watch i cannot understand why people take no care about our nature. Really sad. It is too much that I can take it now with me. When I found small trash I always take it with me but this is too much. Maybe I can find out the owner of the forest here and ask him if we can put the trash away together. We will see.
When I walked through the forest, I had my eyes open from the beginning on to find a nice place for the night or to check the area around, watch plants are growing here, how is the ground, it is wet here or it is full of stones or is there moss and um, are there ways or are there hunter walls. Um, so I don't want that somebody find me into the forest. I always go so deep in the forest how it is possible and look that there are no ways and no hunter walls close to me. I don't want to um, to bring the wild animals away at this place and the hunter will be really angry when I camp close to his hunter was um, so that he cannot shoot animals so you had to check out all the possibilities around and you must feel yourself comfortable at this place when you find a camp place that looks nice but you don't feel comfortable don't stay there trust your your voice inside of your head um, when you don't feel well at this place go away you don't have a nice time when you don't feel comfortable. I check on the way to my place for my camp place always what animals live here. The most animal live tracks and you see the footprints or um, the, the poo or some other signs and it is always good to know which animals live around you. Um, of course it is important when you had dangerous animals in your country. So here in Germany we had not really dangerous animals. The only animal from which I, uh, um, I am really afraid is the um, I forgot the name. The wild boar, the wild pig. So they are really dangerous and I don't like to camp in a wild boar area. So um, I check out if there are any signs of the wild boar. They had um, often a pool full of um, wet earth so they grab their their skin inside of this of this pool and then they had a cover with, with dirt and then they they are scratching their bodies at trees and you found the trees that looks like there is a brown color and on it so and these are signs of wild boar or when the areas um, looks like they dig in the ground so and when I see those tracks I go away and go into another part of the forest where I found no signs of them. And when you hear in the night some noises, then you can know better from which animal it could be when you see the tracks of them over the day. Also important is to check out the trees around you which kind of forest it is. It is a leaf wood forest or needle wood forest. So when a storm came you had to know how dangerous the trees could be. You had to know that it is often safety under a beech tree. Oak is very dangerous because they broke down the big branches that called witch uh, widow maker and um, spruce can fall complete down because the, the wood is very soft and pine can broke in the um, in the tree crown so why you can go when a storm came how safe is the forest around you are there, there are dead trees or dead branches over your camp and um, it is dangerous when a storm came or can you stay there so those are all points you had to know before.
this was the noise of a woodpecker. Maybe you remember this place. I stay overnight here once before and I've built this side and fire reflector wall. And now when I came back, I found fresh um, traces from woodworkers. And when, it, when there is ice on the ground, you can see often how fresh the tracks are and they are really fresh and here around my camp they make also wood. I choose this place because it looks like nobody was there for years. There are uh, many many dead trees and normally they cut it away um, but here they do nothing for years till yet. Yet they are there and make wood. Um, but I will stay here for the night. This had two reasons. The one reason is that it is really late and it will took a lot of time to find another place for the night and maybe then it is dark. And this is also point two. Nobody, no woodworker came into the forest when it is getting dark soon because they want to have sunlight when they work. And when they came, they came not, um, they walk not in here, they came with their um, machines. So I hear them when they are came and then I can't leave this place or um, be ready when they are there. So normally I would, I don't will use places which where are fresh tracks around, but today um, I'm sure that nobody will come. And now I will put a little bit from the wood away to build a little more, a little bit more from my shelter. So they leave the wall complete like it is. So I think it is okay. I only use that wood and when they are angry, they will put it away. So um, the wood is also there and when they want, they can remove it and use it. So this is the wall and the woodworkers also bring me some fresh wood. This isn't what I left here. So this is new. Okay, I will use it. <laughs> and I will build my top again here. Of course in the winter months it can be more comfortable when you sleep into a small tent. But um, top is for me closer to the nature. It had not much weight, it is easy to to fix it and it is more open. You can see the area around. It is more freedom to sleep in on top. Today I sleep again under the top. Um, it looks like a diamond how I build it. And I like this kind of building because it is a little bit like a tent. I had two walls. I can um, put the, the sides of the top that I don't need here at the ground. So I had a footprint and ground sheet. And this part here will come here when I go to bed and it is here completely closed and um, of course in the summer times I like to have a lean-to shelter or something else 
where I can see more from the area around. But in the winter I had to check that I can warm up the air inside of the top a little bit. So I had a little bit isolation and I like this way for using. It is also nice that I had a lot of moss here at the ground. So it is um, a little bit softener than the naked ground. But when it rains, um, moss can save a lot of water and when you had your knees at the ground or you sit at the ground and the moss is wet, you are also very wet in a short time. Um, and moss can show other people your traces, your tracks. So when you walk over dry moss or when it is frozen, um, the, your footprints will stay there for hours and someone else can see it. But it is great to wash the dish when you had no water around. It is sad that in this forest there is no creek, no sea, and no, no lake, no water. I always prefer places with water in the closer area because for me it is important to do outdoor hygiene to wash the dish, to wash the body after the toilet. It is easier when you had water in your area. But um, I had no water here, so I can take a little bit of moss, a little bit of the water that I bring at this place and can put with the moss the biggest dirt out of my dish. So it is better than nothing. From the last time when I stay here, I had a little bit of firewood. I put it here under the young trees, so maybe it is dry, I hope so. Of course I had to make a little bit more firewood, but not, to, not too much. And Today I want to make the place a little bit more comfortable, so I want to build a seat. And in my brain there is a combination out of seat and firewood holder. So I want to build a combination out of those two um, functions. So, and I had here this great wall. I always love to have a firewall when I make fire into the forest because the shine of the fire can see other people so far away and I don't want to see that anybody I don't want that anybody else see the fire, so they think maybe there is a wood fire, something happened, or yeah. So it also reflect the heat, and um, yeah, so I can he had here a nice fire, and nobody else can see it. Um, Fire is such a big team. I don't want to tell so much about it. I think you can know by yourself when it is possible to make a fire into the forest and when not of course in the summer when it is all all dry and it is so hot for a long time i don't want to make a fire into the forest this is too dangerous and a point where not many people think about it um, through our forests go a lot of power lines so and where is a power line, there are no trees around, so this is like an open place into the forest. And some people maybe like to stay there, to make a camp there, and make a fire there. So, and this is not a good idea because when a stranger walks around and see, oh, there is smoke, there is a fire close to a power line, they maybe think that something's happened, that something is damaged, and then they call the cops and the fire workers and you had them all around only because you make a small fire into the forest. So I will never stay close to a power line.
here was the campfire the last time I will make it at this point again um, and here is the entrance of my top so I make my seat anywhere here I hope it is possible because of course in the forest are many roofs so and when there is a roof in the ground I can't bring those branches inside I can try that another place and when it not work it works not then I can also kill vampires with that so I tried um, ground in the forest can always be different it looks like this ground here is very soft and with rotten needles and leaves but it can also be that there are many stones here under the ground you never know so I prefer to sleep at moss because the color is nice and it is a little bit um, comfortable when you lay there at the ground it is not so hot um, when it is wet it is bad when you sit at the wet moss but um, yeah I like to sleep there many people think that the most ticks are in the leaves um, I think there is no difference because between sleeping at moss and sleeping in leaves the ticks are everywhere um, I had the most ticks when I walked to true grass so um, ticks are everywhere it makes no difference where at the forest ground you sleep Those three here are good in the ground, fix it in the ground, but this here um, is not fixed. I don't came deeper in the ground. Here is a roof, maybe the roof is too close to this branch. So I don't want to use it at another place because then it is here too wide open or it doesn't look good. So I try it like this. And when I had to make it fixer, I can um, put them here together with one string. I think it will work like this. And here between, there came my firewood inside. And so I can sit here and use it as a firewood holder. And I don't had to build two things. I can use one thing um, for two um, things that I need. This noise is from a deer. The deer hear or see something that it doesn't like. So I am I'm not sure if it is if it was the noise of my saw that it hear or is there someone else? So I had 
to have their eyes and ears open. Some people think when they hear this noise that this is a dog. It sounds a little bit like a dog, yeah, but in this case it was a deer. Ready, it works more comfortable as sitting the whole time at the ground. This one here is now fixed with a natural string because it don't fit perfect in the ground, but now it works. And here on top now came some spruce branches because they cut down many spruces here in the area around and so I can use it. I always don't like to to use branches from trees that are alive because I use it for one day, one night and then I leave this place and the trees had a big damage only because I want to stand here at night. So there is no need to do this. Yeah. Perfect.